In this video, we are going to study how to visualize and analyze the molecular docking result using Pymol. At first, we open the receptor. Here we use the 6LU7 receptor in PDBQT format. Next, we open our output file which is saved in PDBQT format. You can see our output or the docked conformation in the binding site of the receptor. We change the ligand to the stick model which is easy to differentiate. At the bottom right, you can see arrows to play the different conformations or to toggle between every conformation. The best conformation with the least binding energy is the first one. Next, we can search for any polar contacts of the ligand with the nearby residues. You can see the polar contact as a yellow dotted line. Next, we label each residue in the macromolecule so that we can identify which residue is making polar contact with the ligand. Yeah, we can see lysine at 137 is making polar contact. Next, what we do is, we check the sequence and find out lysine 137 and select it from there. Oh, I can't find it. Yes, 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 got it. Next. We select the entire lysine at 137. Do it very carefully.
for your convenience, hide the entire receptor and display only the residue. Label it and take a snapshot if necessary. You can also rename the binding residue. Next, we go to wizard and then to measurement. Carefully select the molecules to display the distance of interaction. The value will be in Anston. You can also change colors if necessary. Wow! Looks fantastic! We can display the surface model of the receptor for better understanding of the binding pocket. Oh yes! Looks cool! See the binding pocket is pink in appearance. Change the background colors if necessary.